this is like not really day two. I think it's December 3rd or 4th. Um, but I wanted to just kind of go by the days that I'm going to vlog. And today I think I'm just going to take you through like my typical Thursday off, um, which really isn't a day off. I have school, which I'm currently in now. We just have like a five minute break. So I figured I would start the vlog now. Um, and yeah, I feel like I have so much going on and I have so much that I need to do today. Um, I definitely want to write out my Christmas cards. So these are the cards that I use and then I just go to like CVS or Walgreens or whatever is near me and print out some pictures that Cody and I took and I just put them in the cards. So that's easy and then I have to go to the post office, get stamps, I have to go to Abercrombie today, return some stuff, I have to get gas from my car, um, and then I have school later on tonight as well, So, and I have homework that I have to do. So it's a busy day, even though I'm not physically like doing a whole bunch of stuff for like work-wise, it's just a crazy busy day. So usually that's what my days off entail, either like doing a whole bunch of house chores, which I actually did on Tuesday. And I cleaned the whole place, I did all the laundry, so everything's ready to go. But I figured I would take you guys along just for my typical Thursday off. And I did some homework. Also, I ended up ordering my pictures um, right on Walgreens.com, which I didn't even know that you could do. I thought it was like you had to go to the store and wait for them and do all of that stuff. So I ended up ordering them online, which I feel like worked out perfectly. I also, I tend to get the smaller ones. I think they're the four by sixes because they're like 30 cents a print. Or if you get like the normal size, I think, which is like five by eights or five by sevens something like that it's like three dollars a print and they're christmas cards so i went with the smaller ones um i think they're gonna fit better in the cards anyway but i ended up getting some stuff from my black friday haul from abercrombie and i was gonna do a haul and show you guys what i got but it's kind of been a fail i'm gonna try on the few pieces right now and just quickly show you guys because they are horrible <laughs> So this is the first piece that I got, which is a vest in size extra large, which normally fits me perfectly in Abercrombie. I'm like between a large, extra large, but this is ridiculous. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't get it. And I have a big sweatshirt on under this. And like, this is how far it goes. Like, I, I just, I don't get it. Does anyone see that? And like the armholes are huge. I don't know. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me so I'm gonna return this this actually Cody got this for me for Christmas which is really sad because I do actually really like it it's like nice and lightweight and if you had to pack it definitely like compresses really nice but I mean what I don't even know I think I'd maybe be medium I, I don't even think a large could could save this <laughs> so this is a fail and then this is the coat that I got and this is also in a size extra large and it's supposed to be more of like an oversized fit but like this just looks sloppy and these arms are funky I don't understand Abercrombie like this stuff looks so cute on the website but it's just so hard to find and shop for things online I'd rather shop in store even though I never go and shop in store but like I just feel like a big old marshmallow in this so 
this is not going to work either. Okay, so this was the next item, and this sweater actually sold out so fast, I had to wait until it, like, restocked for the next day or whatever, and I just feel, like, frumpy in it. I don't know, it just has this, like, boxy, like, it just goes, like, straight down and does nothing for me, and it, like, I don't even know. It's, it's soft, and I do like the pattern, but... And then these sleeves, like, I, I don't understand why, like, the shoulder part is halfway down your arm. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. And if it's going to be oversized, I feel like this part shouldn't fit like a normal sleeve. Like, it should be more oversized, like the jacket was, like, down, and then sleeves be smaller, you know? Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I just, I'm, this was a total fail on my part. It just is not, not, not for me. <laughs> okay, so I am back in the car. I just stopped at my mom's house really quick. I dropped off all of the bins. Um, I ended up going to get stamps, which like, look how cute these are from the post office. I just think that they're so cute. They're like, they're more traditional style stamps, but I just really like them. So they ended up having like newer stamps, but I like the traditional ones better. So I got those um, when I went to the post office and then I picked up my Walgreens pictures. Um, let me see, she like stickered them. If I can open them. <laughs> They came out so cute. I'm so excited. I just think they're like the perfect Christmas photo. Um, it's very hard to find a good photo of Sky and Cody together because literally they both blink and move at the same time. I don't know how, but like every other photo, Cody blinks. So I'll probably go home and write up these Christmas cards and have them sent out like sometime the end of the week or early next week just so it's all like ready to go um but for now I emptied out my car and I'm gonna run to Abercrombie and return those three things that I tried on for you guys earlier because it was just hopeless so I'm gonna go do that and I need to get gas from Costco so let's go So I am back now from shopping. It's a little bit later. I had lunch and I wanted to show you guys. I quickly ran into Costco and I also ran into Christmas tree shop. I was looking for something very specific at Christmas tree shop, but I couldn't find it. Um, but I will show you guys what I ended up getting and I didn't get anything super crazy at Costco. Just some like healthy choice ice cream pop things and some waters for Cody and then I needed gas. So let me show you what I got from Christmas tree shop. So Cody's dad is really into like bird feeding and one year we got him like a birdhouse but I've gotten him these before and I figured these were just like a cute little filler gift um, to put for Christmas so I got him three of these and they're pretty reasonably priced at Christmas tree shop and also it gets cold where we live so this is like the suet ones so I guess they don't technically freeze um, so that the birds can eat them all year round so I got three of those and then this is the theme for my um, ribbon this year. So let me show you. So I just got this one from Christmas Tree Shop. It's really pretty. It has sparkles on it. And it's kind of like a burlap kind of 
thing. I don't know. But it was really cute. And I got these two from Target this year. And then this year I got this bottom one from Costco. Um, Costco has the best ribbon because it's like... Yeah, it's like $8, I think, or $7.99 or $6.99, something like that. But there's so much of it on this roll versus like these. I think this one was 6 and this one was 5 No, this one was 6 or this one was whatever. Either way, like there's basically nothing on these little rolls. Like I think this one is 20 feet of ribbon and this one's like 18 and then this one was... 18 too but this one was only two bucks christmas tree shop usually has pretty good priced ribbon for things like that but yeah this is the theme for this year also my tip to you guys is to buy the paper like the day after christmas or a couple of days after christmas because it's always half off so that's what i tend to do i was also looking for a garland that i got years and years ago from christmas tree shop and I think last year I ended up buying another one and they had like more of them so I thought maybe this year they would still have some but they don't they unfortunately didn't have any I don't know what she's doing Sky <laughs> unfortunately they didn't have anything this year so I don't know if I just went too late um I mean there were still like a bunch of things but nothing that I thought was like super cute of course, the year that I actually need ornaments and things, I didn't really see anything, um, but it's fine. So what I'm going to do is just see if I have enough of the garland. If not, I might just wait until next year and just do like a couple little sections of the new tree when it comes in because I don't think I'll have enough. Like I barely had enough for my little tree, so I don't think I'll have enough for the newer tree. Um, but yeah, it's it, it'll be okay. I'm... It's all good. I'm excited for the new tree to come. I just need to find some more ornaments.